fish on with Intrepid's Liquid Fire Fishing Team at the White Marlin Open in Ocean City, Maryland. Pleasure Motor is dead ahead. Welcome aboard, ladies and gentlemen, another edition of Pleasure Boater. And as promised, if you watched the last episode, we're coming to you from Ocean City, Maryland. This is the 42nd annual White Marlin Open. Hello again, everyone. I'm your host, Captain Ted Jones. And we promised you we'd be going with the liquid fire team on a little saltwater fishing. Now, in addition to hunting for marlin, they'll be looking for several other species of fish. We'll show you that as we get into the show. But right now, let's catch up with Mark. Uh, White Marlin Open, I've heard great things about it over the years and uh, a lot of excitement and it's our first opportunity to come to the event. You know, coming from North Carolina up here to Maryland was uh, certainly an experience and an exciting one. And real happy to be able to do something like that to, to show off the Intrepid 375 Tournament Edition Center Console open and, and uh, powered by Yamaha 350s, triples. So uh, it's, it's an exciting time. It's a cool place, great venue. This is our second 375, and the guys at Intrepid, Mark, uh, Mark Beaver, Ken Clinton, Joe Brenna, uh, Paul Fleming here with us, and just the entire staff. They just got an amazing staff that cared dearly about what they do, uh, the quality of the product, all the semi-custom things that they do with the boat, just nothing better on the market, no better people to deal with, no better company out there in, in the manufacturing of the boat business. It's just awesome. One of the things that uh, they did for me is uh, they pushed the bow forward a little bit to even open up the uh, uh, the forward deck even more uh, just need a lot of room when you're fishing in these tournaments and uh, those are the kinds of things that they can do they can retool and do whatever you need I mean it's it's an amazing company all the things that they uh, you know do with upon request you know put new rod holders in it for us extra rod holders in it for us uh, beefed up uh, uh, t-tops all kinds of things that they do that, uh, that you know they just care about their customer they find out what they need and then it's real important to them to make sure that those needs are met and they just got the tooling and all the people in the facility that can do that and it's just a great company to deal with so happy to be working with them over the last three years I, I couldn't ask for a better better boat or better people to work with you know uh, Ted it was uh, a good three to four foot sea it was a lot of swell in there too and, and a little bit of chop on top of it so uh, it was it was a little bit sporty this morning um, we had a good um, 85 90 miles to run today and uh, but we got there pretty quickly I mean the boat ran anywhere from we run anywhere from 43 to 48 miles per hour not even pushing it hard we had again a couple of guests on the boat so we didn't want to run it real hard but that boat uh, handles the sea conditions extremely well but it was uh, it was a little sporty it was a little bumpy, no doubt about it. You know, so we got to our spot. It was about 85 miles um, out of uh, uh, the inlet here in Ocean City. And, and once we got to our place, um, you know, we had some pre rigged some valley hoop. So as we, you know, separated the uh, skin from the from the backbone and we deployed them on the outriggers, the taco outriggers that we have. And we run in a, we're currently running about six, seven lines, one off of a, uh, a dredge, a, a uh, uh, ballyhoo dredge that we built earlier in the week, my son's Crockett and Joshua. And, and we're running a, uh, a bait off of the back of that as well. And so, so we're using some dink ballyhoos in hopes to raise a white marlin and, and um, We've gotten some tuna fish out here. We've gotten a pretty good report, so we're gonna give it a good try. Um, you know, so we're running a few, a couple of uh, uh, skirts on them and a chugger head. Uh, uh, see what we can do, and hopefully we can catch a nice one and and uh, put on a good show, and uh, you know, see if we can get to the scales today. Uh, I'm over top of this. This is all wrapped up, here. Yeah. Do we just need to... No. If I could, I believe... All right, I got it. I can't tell if we're... Cracking over top of him. Mm. All right, go ahead and get a gas out. Yeah. Something hit that 50 watt also. 
I don't know. Yeah. Crockett, you want to come under me? Um, I believe you're under me, buddy. Yeah. Yep. Bring it up. Can you go under Crockett? Yeah. There you go, Kevin. This is. Uh -huh. Camera's running if you want to try yeah. to film something. It's a respectable dolphin, boys. Whatever you think. Get back here. Get back here. Get out of that damn dredge. Pleasure Motor is being brought to you by Intrepid, one of a kind, one at a time. And by Sea School, serving mariners since 1977. And by Rigid Industries, your one-stop shop for all of your marine LED lighting. For over 30 years, Intrepid has been building the highest quality power boats in the world from 24 to 47 feet, from hardcore fishing to pleasure boating. Each one is built one of a kind, one at a time, for you, the way that you use it. Intrepid only uses the finest materials along with the highest quality craftsmanship and the best service after the sale. Log on to IntrepidPowerBoats.com to see which Intrepid is best for you. I'm gonna get the gaff out. Put the move on him. I was actually down in the console grabbing some more tackle when they said we had a couple of fish on, so I hopped out and uh, grabbed one of the rods, and we actually had three fish hit at the same time. And uh, one of them short struck it and uh, missed, the, missed the hook, but the other two we hooked up, and the larger fish that we caught was uh, the one my dad, my dad reeled in. His gave more fight than mine did. Um, mine jumped a few times and then came towards the boat, and then uh, Joshua gaffed it and brought it in the boat, and then I uh, kind of wrestled with it a little bit and got the hook out. We saw the dolphin hit. Um, usually when they hit, they jump out of the water, so it's pretty easy to tell what it is. We're good. Just got a little sideways head there. Might put a little more. Just a fish. All right, not a bad one. Yeah. 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 Golly day. More juice on this thing. Knows, and I know this fish is smaller than that other one. Was that a cow or a bull, Crockett? Cow. May need to go in front of that one. I'm going to. Let me slip up in front of it, Kevin. It's a good dolphin, too. Huh? So it looks like a good one? Yeah, that's not bad. You want to come behind me, Kevin? You have behind me. Gonna come in right underneath the head. Yeah, this is the bull weather. Oh! All right. You need, a, you need a pair of pliers, Crockett? Yeah, you want to get them up here, Brendan? Yeah. 
All right. All right, so what we got out here still? Hey, don't take it back there yet. Don't take it back there yet. Let me get a good picture of you. You know, it's been an exciting uh, 2014 campaign for us. We got the new boat uh, the very first of May. Um, it's our second 375 tournament edition center console by Intrepid. And I tell you, the guys just continue to uh, uh, outdo themselves. I mean, the quality and the, the uh, effort and the customer service that Intrepid has is really second to none in the industry. Ken Clinton, Mark Beaver, Joe uh, Brenna, uh, Paul Fleming, who they send with us as a support staff and support trailer for uh, when we go on tournaments. It's just nothing better. These guys uh, really do an amazing job when it comes to support and all the things that uh, you need in a semi-custom boat like they do. It's, uh, they're always innovative. The running platform is fantastic. The triple 300, 350 Yamahas um, are, are nothing better on the market. They're just uh, exciting. They went with a custom paint job this year uh, to match the uh, wrap by Crystal Coast Graphics. And, you know, so it's an exci been an exciting year. We've had some success already, so we're kind of in the start of our, uh, of our own uh, King Mackerel Tournament Series, and it's exciting to be able to, in between the time in Florida that we spent early in the year, and uh, the time uh, in North Carolina, King Mackerel Fishing, we had an opportunity to come up here to the White Marlin Open and uh, show off this awesome boat. Um, again, they just, uh, the, the care and the uh, uh, specifics that they make on this product is just absolutely unreal. Today's nautical knowledge question is, what is another name for a small group of ships? For over 30 years, Intrepid has been building the highest quality power boats in the world from 24 to 47 feet. From hardcore fishing to pleasure boating, each one is built one of a kind, one at a time, for you, the way that you use it. Intrepid only uses the finest materials along with the highest quality craftsmanship and the best service after the sale. Log on to IntrepidPowerBoats.com to see which Intrepid is best for you. The answer to today's nautical knowledge question, what is another name for a small group of ships? It's a flotilla. You know, we've done quite a bit of offshore fishing, and, and uh, but not a whole lot of tournament offshore fishing, so the opportunity to come to the White Marlin Open is pretty special. Not only is it a way to uh, learn a whole lot more about an, uh, a part of the sport that is, is a little bit unfamiliar to us, we're having a good time uh, learning more about it, but it's a great uh, venue to represent all of our sponsors, and that's been a uh, it's been a real important thing for us to be able to do that. And, and the White Marlin Open is the uh, biggest fit, billfish tournament in the world. You know, it's been uh, been a lot of fun uh, to be able to be up here. And, and uh, around 288 boats, I think, is the entry this year in the largest billfish tournament in the world. Um, just tons and tons of opportunities to uh, make representation for our sponsors, people such as Intrepid, Yamaha, Cannon, Accurate Fishing, um, Angler's Envy, uh, Kevin Knox is a guest on the boat today and uh, he is our custom rod sponsor. Um, you know, we've just had a, a great opportunity and it's a lot of fun. Rigid Industries has done a fantastic job for us in outfitting the boat. Uh, just so many great sponsors and an opportunity to be out here and representing them it means a lot to us. We've got a great spot uh, going right into the marina, got a lot of flags flying, a lot of banners up there. Um, you know, but it, kick off a pretty good week uh, if we could actually uh, actually catch a white one and, and take it to the scales. There's a lot of prize money in this, though, over a million dollars for the winner, uh, and uh, that, that'd be okay. That'd make a person hold pretty fast. So uh, we're having a good time. We'll see what happens. Oh, he's tiny. We started out at the Norfolk Canyon and that's where the bite's been for the last two weeks. Uh, a couple days ago it started slowing down and this morning we were there with about uh, a dozen or 20 other boats and uh, there were sporadic catches, all releases. For this tournament with the minimum length requirement of 66 inches we were trying to find that one big fat fish. So we broke off from them and we've come north 
it's about 25 nautical miles closer home, closer to home, and uh, it's just some different water that we can get into and hopefully find that one fish that hasn't had a boat run over it today. There's, there's almost 300 boats in this tournament, so by having so many boats in the tournament, everybody's out today because the weather's so nice. So we're just trying to find that untapped area for the day, see what we can do. Need a gaff or are you gonna sling him? Watch out, I got one. Do we just sling him? You want to sling him in or? No. Oh, damn. What the heck? Greedy. He was just holding Impatient. It. Look at that. Didn't even the here. Yeah, there's a 20-pound uh, minimum on dolphin, but um, there's a daily prize for dolphin uh, in, in this tournament, and generally, not uh, big fish, big dolphin aren't uh, uh, the ones that take the, you know the money and and um, uh, 30 pounder won the whole thing last year. So we were hoping that ours would hit 20. It was real, real close. It was 19.5 pounds, and uh, we knew it was going to be real close going in. But it was a great. I mean, I, I wouldn't change anything. I'd love to go in there, and I would change something. Another half pound would have been nice, but um, because I think. I think we probably missed a little bit of money on that today, but that's okay. It was, uh, um, you know, but that's kind of what it is. 20 pound minimum, but they were great to us. They, they, they took us up on stage, put our names on the board, took photos. Uh, people were all there, talked about the talked about the boat a couple of times. So, and the motors and the Yamaha package, it was great. It was good. Pleasure Motor has been brought to you by Intrepid, one of a kind, one at a time. And by Manus Anchors, sets on the first try every time and by Bass Assassin, brands to love and trust. Hi, Captain Steve for BoatTest.com, and today we're taking a look at a brand new boat from Intrepid, the 327 Cuddy. This is a boat that's designed for casual overnighting and built on a new hull design made to accommodate the larger four-stroke engines that boaters in this class demand. Let's take a look at how Intrepid is done as we do a full test and performance evaluation. We'll start with a look at the 327 Cuddy on the trailer. You can see what a sharp entry she has which allows her to slice so cleanly through the waves. The hard chines coming fully forward to form spray rails along with a flared bow helps to throw water well out to the sides and keep the spray knocked down. In the unlikely event you do take water on board or you leave your 327 exposed to rain, deck drains will dewater your boat in short order. At the stern, we have a 21.5 degree dead rise, and the extended outboard well adds to the additional flotation for the heavier four-stroke engines. Trim tabs are standard, but I never use them throughout the test. Intrepid really gets the ergonomics right at their helms. There's a flip-down footrest under the seat, a nicely positioned footrest on the console, and a recessed area for tucking your feet into when standing, which allowed me to get just a little closer to the helm. The double-wide helm seat slides and is mounted to dual pedestals that adjust for height. The helm is mounted to the port side. The compass is center mounted with accommodations for your stuff to either side. Visibility is outstanding through a glass windshield which causes no distortion at the edges. The panel is roomy enough to accommodate dual multifunction displays with ancillary displays in between. Smartcraft gauges ahead of the wheel reduce the clutter. Naturally, the engines are controlled with digital controls. Down below is a clever switch panel and the switches are not only waterproof, they're submersible to 15 feet. All labels are illuminated when the nav lights come on, and the perimeter of the push button switches lights when the switch is activated. The foredeck is accessed by stepping up from the seats, and non-skid is everywhere. Fully forward, a flush-mounted hatch opens to reveal the recessed windlass with foot control switches in the aft corners. There's open access to the starboard side for reaching under and managing tangles. Now let's get underway and see how this 327 Cuddy handles. Our test boat was fitted with twin 300 horsepower Mercury Verados and the optional freshwater engine flush system. Those engines added 1,270 pounds to our 8,700 pound empty weight, and with 60% fuel and two people on board, we had a test weight of 11,290 pounds. Top speed was reached at 5,800 RPM and 57.2 miles per hour. At that speed, we were burning 57.5 gallons per hour while getting just under one mile per gallon for a range of 224 miles. 
Best cruise was found to be at 4,000 RPM and 38.4 miles per hour. At that speed, we had a 24.9 gallon per hour fuel burn while getting 1.54 miles per gallon for a range of 347 miles. Time to plane was only 3.8 seconds. We reached 20 miles per hour in 5.6 seconds, 30 in 9.4 seconds, 40 in 13.6 seconds, and continued accelerating through 50 miles per hour in 20.4 seconds. In my opinion, the 327 Cuddy is a dream to handle. Her weight gives her a very solid feel that adds exponentially to her good handling characteristics. She's very responsive to control inputs, but not to the point where she turns so abruptly that everyone and everything gets thrown to the side. She has a roughly 20 degree roll during extreme turns that further serves to keep you planted in place, and she comes around in just under two boat lengths. Acceleration is met with a roughly 16 degree bow rise, and in spite of the bow being so far from the helm, I lost no visibility to the horizon. That has a lot to do with the ergonomics of the 327. Additionally, she has almost sport boat handling characteristics when cranking and banking, and no matter how hard I tried, I was unable to ventilate the propellers. While I tested in the calm waters of Miami's intercoastal waterway, sizable wakes from passing yachts showed that the 327 tends to launch off the waves while maintaining a relatively level attitude that continues through the re-entry. Because of her narrow entry at the bows, there was no hard pounding when encountering these waves, but rather a well-managed slice through. During a hard turn into a wave, the stern tended to press into that wave rather than slam to an abrupt stop. It just seemed that the harder I handled this boat, the more comfortable it got. This is definitely a boat made for heading offshore and certainly getting you back in any conditions that might pop up unexpectedly. In my opinion, Intrepid has hit a sweet spot for the hull design of the 327 that combines a very predictable handling boat that can take two or three guys far offshore for overnighting to the canyons or staying closer to home and accommodating a larger crowd. And with that, that is my full test and performance review of the all-new 327 Cuddy by Intrepid. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water. Pleasure Motor was only on hand for day one of three for Liquid Fire's quest for the White Marlin, but they kept a couple of extra cameras, and this is how the rest of the tournament turned out for them.